So I, uh, we can start our service for today. May okay. I ask everyone to start? Okay. Uh, I mean to stand up and yes, let yeah. us begin to praise God and thank Him for this new year. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. So every one of us are wearing a full color today. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Someone is wearing Oh blue, look at that. Yeah. Oh, blue. <laughs> the one not wearing full color. No, but we need black still. Black, white. Black is also color. There's no uh, one yeah. color black above is the adults. Yeah. See? Yeah. Black yeah. legs. Yeah. 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 Hi, baby St. John. I thought I had some but the white the white one looks quite annoying. Wow. Give me the gift. Yeah. <laughs> Have extra $10. Have the gift. <laughs> nice try. Okay, so uh, let us uh, start. Let us uh, bow our heads and let us pray. Father God, we thank you once again, Lord Jesus, for uh, you, Lord. making the 2020 worth it, Lord God. Yes, and also, right. we have thrived. We thank you for protecting us, Lord God. And now we will start this new year, Lord God. We will not be afraid because, Lord Jesus, you are with us, Lord Amen. God. There may be troubles, Lord Jesus. There may be things that uh, is uncertain, Lord God. But we are sure that you are yes. always with us, Lord God. Amen. We praise you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Okay. So, Holy Spirit. Your goodness. 
Pastora for the hmm? for the offering back. No, okay. Then uh, since since huh? <laughs> since Nichelle since Nichelle can can get the the yeah the offering back and then uh, bro bro Iro will pray for us. sama kami para papuri ang ka Lord pasalamat sa lahat sa dumahan na taon na meron man nangyari uh, uh, naging maayos pa din lalo na sa amin uh, sa church na to Lord sa amin magkaibigan uh, wala nangyari masama sa amin thank you Lord at ngayon nga Lord ibabalik namin sa yung papuri at pasasalamat Lord sa pamamagitan ng Opering na to Lord, na alam kong gagamitin mo sa kaharian mo, at papalawak ang kaharian mo, Lord. Thank you dahil ikaw ang unang nagbigay sa amin bago pa kami magbigay sa iyo, Lord. Maraming salamat, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Okay, as you are giving your offering, uh, let me <coughs> prepare what we're gonna share today. Um, actually forgot to give uh, Brother I roll. <laughs> The, the Bible verse, but it's a it's a short one anyway. So let us open from our phone. Okay. Alrighty. Um, if you guys watched um, last night uh, the the New Year's uh, Eve uh, prayer, then you know already the Bible verse. It's the same one that we used last night. It's taken from uh, the book of. <clears throat> Wait, let me just grab it. Rome. Yeah, the book of Rome. Romans, sorry, Romans. Okay. I don't know why I can't find it, Pastor. I didn't. Oh, Rome eight twenty-eight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yes. Amen. Oh yes, I lost my phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, why is it not here? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can grab it. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, but the problem is I still do need my notes. Uh, let me let me remember where I sent it to. Okay, okay. No, it's supposed to be WhatsApp. I have this like I created my own group uh, for, for church stuff, but I don't know why it's not there. Maybe I sent it to the wrong one. Maybe Sergio where? Where did you put? <laughs> <laughs> Pinch. 
Or maybe baby Sergio last night, I think maybe. Yeah, yeah it, it is last yeah. night, yeah. Yeah, it is last night. Um, okay. He even can make a call to people. Okay, great. Found it. Everybody, let's stand up and let's read uh, directly from uh, the monitor at the front. Can you see it? Can you read it? Yeah. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Are you guys ready? Let us declare this. Uh, Pastora um, uh, received this uh, verse for the New Year's Eve prayer. And I believe that it is good. And it fits our situation for the whole year of 2021. Let us use this Bible verse as the foundation of our faith and our journey throughout the year of 2021. So let's declare this word of God. Are you ready? Let's shout it out. Ready? One, two, three. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Let's pray. Lord, we declare this, Lord. We trust that you are in control of everything, Lord. You have been in control in our lives throughout the year 2020, Lord. Despite the whole situations that we have been facing in our life, in, in our world, Lord, you are in control of everything and we can still see your goodness, Lord. We saw your goodness throughout the year of 2020, regardless how many things that may uh, have made our, our lives uh, 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 miserable perhaps or sad we could still see your goodness Lord and we trust that this year will continue to see your goodness in our lives because we trust that you are in control of everything in every aspect of our lives from the 1st of January today until again 31st of December 2021 so Lord speak to each and every one of us today Lord as we receive this Bible verse uh, and take this particularly as a foundational verse for us throughout this whole year. Lord, speak to us in the name of Jesus, we pray and everyone say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Uh, just really quickly for today, because uh, this coming Sunday, I will still use the same Bible verse. Uh, the reason being not only the fact that I believe this Bible verse really suits us for this year, uh, you know, with the whole situation that we're facing, you know, that it is always good to know that there is an assurance in our Lord Jesus Christ, if you believe, say amen, amen. that he is in control of everything. But not only that, uh, the reason why I, I'm repeating three times last night and today and this coming Sunday so that it wouldn't be just us saying this is the foundational Bible verse. But you will continue to remember until 31st of December. And if, if you guys are still here on the 31st of December, uh, I'm not saying that some of us will, will go back to the Lord. No. I mean, like Sister Jess, we'll need to go back to the Philippines. Okay. What? So if you guys are still Michelle. in Macau, sis, no, she's Jess or no? Oh. Sister Michelle? I don't know. The one that for study. Oh, no, you taught me for, for this year. I don't know yet. Oh, you don't oh, know, know yet. yet. Yeah, so yeah, that's, good. that's the whole thing. Good. We're yeah. praying not yet. We're praying not yet. Um, but anyway, you'll never know, okay? Uh, you may not be in Macau anymore. Regardless, uh, if you are still here in Macau by the end of this year, then I, I will ask a question again. Who remembers our foundational Bible verse for this year and why we made that a foundational? <laughs> Everybody's writing down now. <laughs> it's still one year to go, guys. Don't worry about it. No, 36, th 364 days to go. Okay? This is day one. And I'm so excited. Are you guys excited about day one? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't, doesn't sound like it. It's a little bit of uh, sleepiness and tiredness since last night. Yeah. But don't worry, I know that everybody is excited, okay? And so, yeah, that's the one of the reasons also is to make sure that you guys will remember. So, because I'm going to be using this Bible verse this coming Sunday, and it will be more thoroughly. So today, I will only give uh, a few points for you guys and without any elaboration, okay? But as I said, me speaking a little bit will probably still a little bit much anyway. <laughs> okay, so there are four things that I want to remind you throughout this year. Tell the person next to you four things. Four things. Okay, in regards of uh, uh, this being our foundation this year, that God is in control of everything. God is working in every aspect of our lives for the good of us who love Him. If you believe, say amen. Okay, and for that matter, I just want to remind you about four things in our lives throughout this year. 
it was a challenging year in the year of 2020. This year, we trust that this is the year of hope. Say the year of hope. The year of hope. Okay? Uh, but uh, we know that the situation is not, uh, certainly, you know, definitely gone. Like it's all back to normal. Not yet. Not just yet. Okay? So we know that there are a couple of challenges that are probably uh, 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 still joining us in this year. Okay? Regardless, though, we trust that God is in control. Once again, say God is in control. God has his part. God has his part in taking control of everything. But you and me, we have our part. Say our part. Okay? The Bible say, draw yourself near to me and I will draw myself near to you. If you believe, say amen. Okay? Now, this is talking about two parts. One part is God's part. Okay? The other one is our part. The Bible say, draw yourself near to me, and then I will draw myself near to you, God say. It means we have a part to do, which is drawing ourselves near to God. If you believe, say amen. amen. And once we do that, then God is going to do his part, which is drawing himself closer to you and me. If you believe, say amen. amen. And so it's the same thing as well. God has his part in this year as well with this Bible verse that we make as our foundation for throughout the year. God's part is to make sure that He is in control of every aspect of your life, if you believe, say amen. amen. Okay? But it is also our part yeah. to make sure that we do whatever that we can do, okay, to continue to be in the path where God wants us to be, if you believe, say amen. Okay? And the four things that I mentioned to you is exactly the four parts that God wants us to be. God wants you and me to stay safe. Say safe. safe. God wants you and me to stay healthy. Say healthy. healthy. God wants you and me to stay blessed. Say blessed. blessed. And God wants you and me to stay positive. Say positive. So the four things that I want you to remember together with me is that in this year, 2021, it is the year of hope. So let us stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed, and stay positive. Okay? Stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed, and stay positive. Okay? Now, stay safe. What should we do about stay safe? Of course, God is in control. Don't you worry. I mentioned um, in, in the Christmas uh, Day service that... Yes, of course, all of us were afraid of the whole situation right now. I mean, you heard about this new strain of COVID-19, right? Yes, we're afraid and we, we try to do as much to prevent us from getting sick or whatever, you know. But death, you know, it is God that decides. So we should not have our worry bigger than God in our life. Amen? Because God is in control. Nevertheless, though, we have to make sure that we do our part to stay safe. Okay? Meaning, you know, people, you know, uh, 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 during this time that the border has been open and a lot of people, they, they start traveling, okay? Why? Because they're bored, apparently. To me, I would encourage you guys not to travel just because you're bored. Seriously. If you need to travel, make sure because you need to go back maybe because of education, of course. Or maybe you need to visit family members because maybe they're sick or, you know, you must meet them. Or maybe because you have to go back to your country anyway, okay? Then travel. But if it's only because you're bored and you need a vacation, okay? Then, you know what? I would encourage you not to do that because you are then uh, uh, challenging uh, a God, okay? Because, yes, God is in control, but God never tells you to go to a crowd of people where you don't know if they have COVID or no, and then uh, just stand around them and, and say, I will not get infected because my God is strong. God never asks you to do that, okay? There's a part that you and me have to do as well, which is try to avoid the crowd, okay? Yes, now we're good because we know one another, okay? But as I said... We don't just invite anybody to come to this this New Year's Day service. Why? Because we don't know the people that don't usually come to our church, you know. We don't know how much they're exposed and everything. But pastor, having said that, we also don't know each and every one of us may have been exposed. It's true, but that's the part where God is in control, okay? Uh, but we try to minimize as much as we can not to be exposed to a crowd that we don't know, okay? So stay safe, meaning... 
Guys, make sure that you don't just purposely expose yourself to a situation. And I'm not just talking about COVID-19, guys. You stay safe, meaning you don't purposely expose yourself to a situation where you're going to get sick, where you're going to get infected with this COVID-19, where you're going to lose money, you know, spending, you know, if my mom's still around, I think she would be speaking more about gambling and everything. So you don't purposely expose yourself going to a casino when you know, when you walk into the casino, you're going to put your money in there and you're going to lose money. Okay, stay safe. And also, most importantly, stay safe, meaning stay safe, meaning with the salvation that you and me have. Okay, so we must do our part. Yes, God is in control in every aspect of our life. And he will always remind you and me, don't, don't go there. Because if you go there, you're going to lose your salvation. Not because God will take away the salvation, but many times we're the one that throw away the salvation, put it on the floor, and we just tramp on it. You know, if... uh, 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 you know that going there or going hanging out with certain group of people, uh, there's a risk that, you know, maybe you're going to do things that, that will upset God. Then refrain yourself from doing that, church. That's your part. Okay, that's your part. But pastor, what if I still fall in the year 2021? Then that's God's part. Because His grace will always overflow in our life. Amen? But there's a difference between... You purposely trying to fall from grace and you accidentally falling from grace. That's a difference, church. So I'm praying that throughout this year, 2021, we will stay safe. Even if we have to fall from grace, maybe once or twice, it will be accidental and the Lord will cover it all if you believe, say amen. Okay? Stay safe. Tell the person next to you, stay safe. Amen. Now, also, we must stay healthy. Okay? Now, just because Macau is very safe, let's say praise God. Praise God. One more, one more time. One, two, three. Praise God. Praise God. Why? Because Macau is like a bubble right now. And we're like living in a bubble, you know. We can have a Christmas Day service, New Year's Day service, you know, whatever. I mean, last night some of you even went out to several places, you know. Macau is very much safe right now. Nevertheless, this is winter, you know. And the weather is changing. And of course... It's not just COVID that we must, you know, make sure we don't get any. But there's some flu virus as well, you know. We must stay healthy. Why? Because oh, it's simple. It's got nothing to do with theology. It's just plain simple. If you get sick, then it's going to be harder for you to go to work. If you get sick on a Sunday, then you can't go to church, you know. If you get sick, uh, 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 your family probably, you know, like you said, Joyce, maybe cannot cook for Brother I roll. Or the other way around, when yeah. Brother Iroh is sick. I know, saying? because I think Brother Iroh cooks more than you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, Brother Iroh, <laughs> don't get sick. Okay. So, yeah. think, so of think of her. See? And also, I'm not pastor. No, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so, this is why we must stay healthy, okay? Um, not just stay safe, you know, stay healthy as well, okay? Meaning, don't push yourself too much, you know. Uh, uh, if you are tired, then tired. That's the reason why we always, as a church and as leaders in the church, we always try to accommodate, you know, your calling by, you know, making this activity. But at the end of the day, if you can't make it, feel free to always tell me and Pastora, you know, that oh, we can't do it, Pastor, because no problem at all, because we must stay healthy as well, okay? But of course, staying healthy doesn't mean that, you know, oh, my, my voice is... Uh, 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 it's, it's hurting, so I can't uh, lead the worship. Okay, fine. But it doesn't mean you, you cannot go to church. You can still go to church and sit down and listen, right? It's your voice that has a problem. It's not your ear, right? So that's staying healthy. Okay, that's staying healthy. Okay? So um, uh, let us continue to stay healthy throughout the year 2021. Because, guys, health is very expensive. Okay? But again, worry not. Why? For as long as we try to do our part to stay healthy, even if sometimes we fall sick, once again, God works for the good of those who love Him yeah. in every aspect. Sometimes even when we're sick, maybe there's some blessing that God wants to give. You know, I find it when I'm sick and being uh, active in a church, everybody in the church just gets so concerned. They're just like, are you okay? Do you need food? Uh, should I bring food to your house? You know, it's, it's good, right? So sometimes it's a blessing in disguise. Okay? Of course, don't pray. Don't pray to get sick. But as I said, if you really have to get sick anyway, don't worry, because God is in control. Say God is in control. Amen? And the third point is, say what? Remember? 
blessed. Stay blessed. Amen? Stay blessed. Meaning what? Okay. Stay blessed, meaning make sure that you continue to walk in our walk of faith. Okay? Amen. Regardless of the situation that we face. See, the Bible says that God works for the good of those who love Him. Okay? If I want to rearrange the wordings, it could mean something like this. God's blessing is for those who love Him. God's blessing is for those who love Him. Meaning, we will always be blessed if we continue to love Him. So the moment we stop loving Jesus, don't complain if you start feeling that the blessings are gone from your life. Okay? And that is the reason why this year, 2021, let us not only make sure that we continue to love Him, let us push ourselves to love Him even more. Why? Because then the blessings will be more as well. Amen? Stay blessed and even more blessed if you believe. Say Amen. amen. The last one. Tell the person next to you last one. Okay? Now this is very, very practical in our life. Everything that we've mentioned just now, it is... Uh, pretty much very Christian, okay, very Christian. Stay safe, stay healthy, you know, stay safe, having the salvation, and stay healthy so you can still go to church and everything and stay blessed. But this one is a foundational for the, the, the all the three points that we just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Stay positive. Tell the person next to you, stay positive. Stay positive. Stay positive. Okay. Why? Because imagine, I've got a lot of pastor friends in Indonesia and elsewhere who got infected with COVID-19, okay? And some of them passed away. Some of them, they made it, okay? Mm. Regardless, what I noticed from these people throughout their fight with the COVID-19, they remain positive, church, mm. okay? So when we face anything in our life, of course, I'm praying no COVID-19 at all because my God doesn't have it in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. But we still we still have to face other types of COVID in life, okay? Uh, our finance, maybe, you know, our work, you know, mm. our employers, maybe, you know, uh, family situation, whatever it is, whatever types of COVID, it may not be COVID-19. It can be COVID finance, maybe COVID family. COVID employer and COVID work, whatever, you know, for as long as we stay positive, church, I mentioned to you, there could be some blessing in this, guys. If you don't stay positive, it would be so hard for you to get to see the blessing in this, guys. Why? Mm -hmm. Because when you stay negative, even the blessings are not in disguise, you're disguising the blessings mm -hmm. even the blessings is not covered up you can't see the blessing all you can see is the bad things over bad things over bad things over bad things and jesus is just standing around you and say but i've given you so much blessing already you're the one that closed your eyes with what with negativity mm -hmm. but you know what even if it's really hard to see god's blessing you may have lost your loved one in the year 2020. You may have lost so many friends in the year 2020. You may have lost your job in the year 2020. You may not have anything in the year 2020. And everybody in the whole world is saying that 2020 is a doom year. You will still be able that 2020 has been the year of the Lord's goodness. Why? Because I stayed positive and I could still see God's greatness yeah. in my life. If you want that in the year 2021, stay positive, church. One uh, 1st December until 31st, sorry, 1st January until 31st of December. You're going to be able to say exactly the same thing at the end of this year. The Lord has been good. It's not simply because God is good. Because God is good, it's not something to be questioned about. He is good. It's His nature to be good, okay? But it is more about me and you, you know, whether we can see that goodness. Only those, not only who love Him, but those who love him and stay positive that will be able to make until the end of this year again, 31st of December, and declare that this year has been the year of God's goodness again. Amen? Amen. So church, let us stand up. And as we stand up, let us declare God's goodness one more time. 